Uh, as you will know, uh, dear colleagues, uh, this morning there was a security incident in the hemicycle that led to the suspension of the session for a short while. The situation is as follows. Individuals uh, having entered as visitors staged a protest from the visitors gallery and refused to leave. Uh, there was a concern that they would cause uh, harm to themselves as part of their protest, but I am pleased to tell you that the situation uh, was resolved peacefully, nobody was hurt and no one uh, was injured and all the protesters are now out of the Parliament's premises. Uh, I, I would like to say I'm very grateful for all uh, the, the services for the quick and professional handling of the situation. Our security teams worked extremely well. under difficult conditions and I would also like to very much thank uh, our colleagues, uh, members of the European Parliament, uh, Giuliano Pisapia, Envin Incher, Sergei Lagodinsky and Ilhan Kyuchuk, who joined um, me in helping to keep the situation calm. So thank you very much. This, this Parliament stands proudly uh, for freedom of expression and the right to protest, but any dis demonstration must always respect our rules and procedures, public safety, and not disrupt our democratic debates. I, I will not give their cause the publicity that they were looking for. This is not the way to get the attention of the European Parliament. I am proud that we are an open and accessible parliament, but we debate, we discuss, and we decide peacefully, calmly, and not under threat. I have asked for a full report, and I will keep you informed. Uh, after the votes, uh, which will be chaired by um, our colleague, Vice President Silva Pereira, we will resume with the debate interrupted this morning. And regarding the remaining debates, in accordance with Rule 158, Paragraph 2, and with uh, agreement of the political groups, I would like to propose to the House to postpone the debates on the Commission statement on the further repressions against the people of Belarus, in particular the cases of Andrei Pochobut and Alex Bialitsky, and the Commission statement on developing an EU cycling strategy to Thursday morning. And as a result, then, the sitting will start at half past eight. In addition, the debates on the Commission statement on cross-border adoptions, the need for more transparency and international cooperation, and the oral questions on adequate minimum income and ensuring active inclusion are postponed to the March 1 part session. Are there any objections? I don't see that to be the case. Therefore, these changes are adopted. Thank you.